Okay, that's enough of that. When it comes to doing exercises, there's a lot of things suggest to me that a little bit frequently is far more important than going down the gym a couple of times a week. So that if you can incorporate something into your life, that is more valuable than if you're doing something occasionally. And for example, I've, well, I've just cut milk out my diet, but when I was drinking milk and I did live drinking milk, I would make milky coffee. So I would put a little bit of milk in the bottom of a cup, put the cup in the microwave before I made myself a coffee. That I put the microwave on for one minute. In that one minute, I could do 10 press ups and three chin ups. One minute, one minute going. This is mornings, so our hands out. Right, okay, through the next door, okay? This way. So, one, two, three, right. Okay, back. Eight seconds, still on the clock. That took me 52 seconds while being videoed to do 10 press ups and three chin ups. In the mornings, I'll do my hands like that. In the midday, I'll do my hands like that. And in the afternoons, I will do my hands like that as I do the press ups. Now that's my routine. I'm not suggesting you follow my routine. I'm finding that's helping me stand up better, but I'm not an expert in this area. You find a routine, you think what you need, and try to do that three or four times a day for one minute. Now, a minute or 40 seconds is not a hard workout. And in my thought that if you could take some concepts from the functional patterns and have a system, either build a system or have some of the sort of weights he recommends, and engage in that every time you put a, the kettle on, or three or four times a day, that type of time scale, just for a very short burst, you know, following my pattern of a minute a day, I think that could really help people. I think that could really help get another dimension of change that would help with the mewing. And I think those two would work synergistically. Remember, our ancestors didn't do exercise. They just lived lives and the exercise was part of that life. And that's what I think can be the most valuable thing if you're trying to change. Make an exercise part of your life. So many more people are working from home. So here's a great opportunity. Maybe you could set up a, um, a sort of a, a bag with some weights in it and a couple of pulleys, and you could implement a system remembering from my viewpoint, and I'm not qualified to give a VIP viewpoint, that would be a light forces used more frequently are better than heavy forces used less frequently. So at some point, we're going to be coming back asking for a little bit of help. If you can help us, this is going to help the whole movement and help you um, try the functional patterns. We're going to be doing some interviews and I will well.